Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and it is vlog day today, so happy to see every single one of you. Now, last weekend I talked about this Resin Rockers resin that I was going to be giving a try, so that's what we are doing today. I'm going to be doing the Soft Coat resin and their basic UV resin, the other one that you see in there. The Skim Coat is for pens, which we will have to come back and give that a try as well. But today I'm giving these plugs a try. So these little plugs you cast yourself and they are for when you do snow globes. So if you like to do up lots of snow globes, these are perfect. You can just cast up a bunch of them and have them on hand and ready to go. First thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cast up a plug here. I'm gonna use the soft uh, coat resin there that they have. It comes in a whole kit right on their website. If you, I'll, I'll make sure to put their website down in the description box for you guys. But the reason why you wanna use the soft coat, oh, here I'm showing you, you wanna fill it right up until it gets over, right over on the edge. You'll see it if you, if you buy the molds. You don't wanna fill it up too much just until it fills up right above that line there. So that way it has a little cap at the top for you. But the reason why you want to use the soft coat UV resin is so that way when you go to push it into your, the holes you make for your snow globes, it forms easily. It like pushes very easily right down into the hole and makes a nice seal for you. So there I was just kind of tapping out any bubbles that might be in there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit it up with my UV light. I think it's about 60 seconds on the top. And then I flip it over or not flip it over, I, I put it on top of my flashlight there and do another 60 seconds just like that to make sure it's nice and cured. I I have been using the UV resin that I bought off Amazon for a while now and I finally ran out of it and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go with something a little bit better. So I heard lots of great things about uh, resin rockers and I, I'm really happy that I went with them because their website is extremely easy to use and it has it is so much there's so much information on their website if you're if you're new to you know the different type of uv resins that they offer and stuff it, it is a great resource for you to go on there and pretty much the your questions will be answered right on it they even have videos and stuff like too, that too and i believe they have a facebook page as well so i went ahead and i already did up a snow globe tumbler this is just a glass snow globe with a hole already in it so i'm going to go ahead and pop my plug right down into the top there now the only thing i did wrong here was they recommend that you put a little bit of UV resin around the hole first, and then you wanna go ahead and hit it up with your UV light so that way it has that extra security there. I didn't do that here, but it, it's still held up. I mean, it's still doing good, so. <laughs> but I'm just taking um, some rubbing alcohol and cleaning off my bottom really well. The reason why I didn't show you guys me filling this up is because I did it the night before, so that way all the, the bubbles could kind of go to the top and all that. So I, I let it gas off overnight before I'm doing this, but it's, it's just insanely easy. Now they do, the plugs do come with like these extra little plugs, like removable plugs. So that way, if you drill your own holes into your cups, you can pop those, those uh, plugs down into it first. So that way you can kind of shake your stuff around, get all the, get all the air bubbles to come up to the top for you and, you know, just take them right back out and, there you go. So this whole kit is, is pretty amazing and super duper easy to use. I mean, I used to use glue. I even used the, um, the plastic that would come on like shaker, shaker bottles and, and stuff like that to, to line over top of it. But this is just a game changer and so much more easier. So now I'm going to go ahead and seal at my bottom. I'm just going to go ahead and use the hard, you want to use your hard UV resin for finishing it up. You don't want to use the soft for that. So the soft I think is mainly just for making the plugs themselves. And then the hard UV resin is for finishing it up on the bottom. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that resin, add a little bit of glitter to the bottom, you know, put it on there, give it a little finishing detail there. So back to I when I was purchasing the stuff off Amazon, it it was okay. It was all right. You definitely know the difference once you get better quality UV resin. And I, I already could tell I, I did, they gave me a little mold with it. It was like a little teddy bear and I tried that out and that, right away, I mean, it, it, it cured just fabulously. I mean, it didn't feel slick or slimy. Now, sometimes UV resins will do that. They'll feel kind of slick or slimy afterwards. And it just, you know, this doesn't do that. It is a nice hard cure. It, it works wonderfully. I highly recommend this product for sure. 
Now, while I finish this up, I, like I said earlier, I did buy the UV resin skim coat as well, which I did plan on doing a pen with you guys today also. But I, as you can tell, <laughs> I didn't do an intro or anything like that. I'm not feeling all that great. So I didn't want to uh, do all that today. So this, I'm definitely going to be doing up a pen with you guys next Sunday with the UV resin skim coat because I was reading online and it says it, it acts almost like epoxy so it kind of levels out and you can even use uh it you know you don't have to use paint as long as you're using glitter you know like your solid glitters that aren't semi-translucent or anything like that you can use that for one coat so that way you don't even have to paint your pens or anything so i'm, I'm pretty excited to give that a go as well but i happened to catch a live of theirs i believe over on tiktok and uh she was saying she didn't know if they fit glass tumblers she didn't know that for sure but I can tell you guys right here that they do fit the the glass tumblers here so with the holes already pre-drilled because they were just basing it off of if you already if you uh, drill your holes already in your in your uh, acrylic tumblers and stuff and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but there was two sizes of plugs in there so but like I said if you go onto their website it is chock full of information it's a it's a great informative website for their product this was all real time. I mean, this is how long it took me to pretty much seal up the bottom of my cup. I mean, so, so, so easy. <laughs> so now all I'm going to do is uh, hit it up with a uh, lighter. There we go. I'm going to hit it up with a lighter to kind of pop any little bubbles that might be in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit it up with my uh, UV light to cure it. And I believe again, I think it was 60 seconds. I, I did a little bit longer than 60 seconds though, but it's about 60 seconds with my little flashlight there. I touched it, I was amazed. I mean, hard, nice hard, not slippery. It's completely cured. I, it worked fabulous, love it. This is probably, this is pretty much all I'll be using from now on when I do UV type stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shake. I'm gonna wipe this down because it's covered in all my, <laughs> my liquid and everything. So I'm just gonna give it a shake, see how it's doing. There we go, beautiful, look at that. These cups are fun, they're easy. Uh, they do make me nervous because they're glass, but. <laughs> but they are fun and easy to do, especially when you have good products to finish sealing them up with. Well, I think that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm sorry, it's not a very long vlog. I'm sorry I didn't shut my face. I'm, like I said, I, I'm just not feeling all that fabulous, but I'll be back next Sunday. Well, of course, this Friday with another tutorial and next Sunday with another vlog, and I'll be on that for you guys. I, I'm hoping I'll feel better by tomorrow at least. <laughs> But I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.